Okay, folks, I'm going to assemble this swag. It's a canvas swag by Outhouse. Um, it weighs about 15, 14 to 15 kilos. Um, I probably won't talk much because we've got lots of cars going past and everything else. We're going to do it in the garden for the simple reason is it needs to be weathered. Uh, what that means is, well, you're probably familiar with that, we need a little bit of rain, doesn't matter how much, a little bit of moisture, and that will then... Um, so that should expand the fabric so make it totally waterproof. It comes with its built-in bathtub. It's called a tub or base, whatever you want to see. I will be using a tarp with it, which I made with Fenton. Remember Fenton the cat? Um, so without further ado, let's just get out of the bag and get it assembled, all right? It is light. It's big because it comes with a mattress already in it. It comes with the bag. So, so simple. Ten pegs. That's how light it is. It is that light. Ten pegs and poles. Quite straightforward. Straps stay on. Actually, stay with it, should I say. That means how the noise can't be helped. Right. She's a she's a big one. Okay, we have three sets of poles, two sets of holes, three sets of poles. Small one, which is for the foot end. And this is the foot end. As you can see this. So, sorry about the attire, flip flops and all that. It is warm today. That's simple. Yeah. If you got it around the wrong way, which I've got my door this side, that's easy enough done. Okay. That simple design, look at that. That's so pretty, so easy.
I bet you're thinking, how is he going to keep that apart? Oops. That's it. Right, now comes the magic part. doing to get used to. You can always adjust it afterwards. They're both the same. virtually it. You could peg it down, you've got two inputs, sort of like, well, let me just show you around. Sort of. Right, so we have the main door here and the main door that side. That is the main one coming in and I'll show you why. Pick it up, quite light, turn it round. And you'll notice It has a doormat. Okay, so there's your doormat. These can all be pinned down. And you've got a, a bug net as well inside. Okay, let's have a look. <sighs> so you can see both sides open up, both got air, air vents and nets in them. <laughs> got a foot vent down there. It's going to be about, I think it's seven foot near enough. And 1100 mil wide. I got the mill directions. It comes with the mattress. This virtually self inflates when you open it up. You've got big pocket here, but you've also got the vent there as well. Pockets here for all your bits and bobs. Uh, and we'll get inside and have a look. Okay, so my head is now touching. You can't see this. And my feet are there. So I've still got, I wouldn't say a foot, eight inches. So plenty of room. It's about six foot six then, isn't it? Something like that. I think the measurements are on the site anyway. Um, so we've got an air vent here on the inside. And we can do some air. It's a little bit warm today. Both will tie up on the outside or the inside using these tags. I don't know, it's the same one. I'm looking for the other tag. Where is it? Here we go. Sorry. I thought it was for me then. What have we got here? Twisted round. We twisted round. Hey. Okay, so now what we're looking at is both vents open. Phew, got a bit warm in here then. Um, it's like a great big ruddy torpedo, isn't it? But it's huge. 
So you can also open this, but this has to be open from the outside. I don't think there is. Oh, there is. Hold on, I forgot about that. So that comes down, and then you've got your fly, and you've got the one on the outside as well, which is Velcro. So this can just come up. I tell you, this is made so well. There we go. So that can be pinned open using um, your ties. It comes with everything, so you can you don't need anything. This can also be hooked up as well. Okay, let's go on the outside and have a look. Phew, it's warm in here. <laughs> right. Okay. So, yeah, vents will open up. So I'm just throwing them over the top for now. But you have got ways of just pinning these out with these little clips and you can just do ties and then pin them out so you've got plenty of air going through i mean this thing will be great in the winter as well it is strong this is really thick canvas all the specs and everything you need to know are on their website i've got nothing to do with them i just decided i fancied a nice secure way of tenting especially if i'm going boating as well i can take it with me so you've got your foot piece as well which is exactly the same these straps stay on, so you just tuck them underneath if you want to. Exactly the same. Comes up. I don't know if you can pin them out by the look of it. Anyway, we can just roll them up. And you've got another guide rope there. And you can put as much structure on this, or you know, if you want to pin it out. You've got guides everywhere. This is your secondary exit there, or entry, whatever you want to call it. What I mean by bathtub as well is this material here. It's exactly the same material which is there. But it's really thick and strong, so you're not going to get any bugs in. And what they mean by bathtub is, just for beginners, it comes up along the side here, so it's quite high up. You're looking about, on well, my hand, width, so six, seven inches. All the way around, look at this. A great bit of kit. So I'm going to seat it up and uh, we could be in for some wet weather, which is fine, that's what I want. So I'm going to pin it down just in each corner. So you're looking, maybe I could use well each corner in the middle, six pegs. Comes with pegs. I mean, I've got storm pegs as well, which I probably use. Um, the website just outhouse.co.uk. That's it, it's that simple enjoyed the vid give it a thumbs up that would really be appreciated I'm going to go view there there we go all right take care catch you in the next one we will be this one probably